Hello everyone. This time we're going to continue the stocks prediction on SPY. In the previous video, we select a few models and uh, compare them and also check the residues of each model, such as the AR1 model. We defined it in the last uh, uh, video. We're going to go through this uh, fairly quickly and use a method called cross validation to check how well the performance for each model. In the FPP2 package, there is a um, function called tscv called it's cross validation we're going to use this method to compare the different models first we will look at the model for the arima we're going to use the auto arima to select the arima models for us and then use the TSCV function to produce the residues or the errors. We're going to use the five days uh, prediction in this case. And then we're going to get to the average error square for this um, model and for the rest of the, the models. We're going to also use a naive model as well as the exponential smoothing models, ETS, and to see how these compare with the classic ARIMA model. Let's start on this model. It takes a little bit longer, as we can tell. The mean square error is around 28. On five, the naive model actually could be a basis for our model evaluation. This give us some indication. We just use the today's stocks value to predict the, the stocks value in the next in the next five days. Or five days ahead, should I correct myself? Let's run this to see how it goes. It's 29.1 somewhere. So it's not bad, not too bad. Using the ETS model, we're going to follow the same fashion and it produce the error and uh, get the average value for the. Um, arrow sphere. So it's slightly higher than the others. For this special case, we don't see any advantages from the uh, ARIMA model or EDS model and compare uh, to the naive model. But we see, we only see a slightly um, a lower error from the Rima model. Uh, can we say uh, we're going to choose the uh, AR1 model over the rest? For the model selection and evaluation, actually, it's a fairly complicated. But the basic principles we can use first is that simple or practical to use. Uh, whether it give us a very good or perfect uh, model for the data we have, well, it's not going to perform very well on the new data or unseen data. The speed of the prediction also very, very important. But in this case, since our data set is only um, 
a few uh, is under 100 uh, data points here so it's a less apparent uh, the speed uh, becomes a, a significant factor in the predictions let's take another quick look about the, the rest of the models uh, we were using again a R1 model give a downtime prediction if we use the exponential it give you a flat uh, prediction so we can also take a look at the overlay of the fitted values and the original values naive model so the overlay it's just a shifting of a five uh, unit of the prediction after this you may wonder how am I going to select the models or one model out of that let's go back to over three uh, simple uh, principles here if we stick to the simplicity and the the lane model uh, we're going to uh, use and easy to understand we're going to choose AR1 model uh, it's a relatively fast for this case because the data set is not uh, overwhelmingly uh, large but the A1 model probably will be a good candidate for further evaluation thank you for watching this video. See you next time.